I will tell you this, though, man, because, because I was telling the fans this yesterday. I don't think they're done. I think there's one more move they want, they want to make. Like a big swing? Or I think there's a big swing? swing that they want to make. Really? Because, well, think about this, right? We, we talked about all the moves that they made this year, this offseason, to get themselves some more wiggle room with the cap, right? They made uh, the, the Shake Milton trade. They signed him. They put him in the Bridges trade. You have Brunson, who's considering taking considerably less to sign the extension this year. They didn't sign Julius Randle to an extension. Mm. They didn't sign Julius to an extension. You think he's on the block? Everyone keeps saying they're such big fans of his, such big fans of yeah. his. I'll and tell you this. He... Okay. They're bigger fans of Carl Anthony Towns. Yeah? Yeah. They're, they're bigger fans than in Carl Anthony Towns. They want Towns. Who do you like better? I like Ju- I Personally, I like Julius. Fit-wise, offensively, Towns is a better fit. For yeah. what they're trying to... They want to catch Boston. They see what yeah. Boston can do with a true five-out system. They want to open up that floor completely for Jalen to do his thing and cook like he usually does. You're able to put Towns out there. I'm just talking about skill set, offensive skill set. As a true shooting big, they want to, that's how they want to beat Boston. They want Towns. You think, you think Minnesota does that? It's not clear if they will, but they are in some financial challenges right now. Because they yeah. just paid Ant-Man, Jalen McDaniels, Towns is making a boatload of money, Gobert's making money, new ownership, who's going to take over, is A-Rod going to take over, what's Glenn Taylor doing? So they're in a little bit of a, of a tricky spot where they could use some savings. And I can tell you, the Knicks want Towns, man. They want Local Towns. guy, localish guy. Um, the, th- the thing about... Randall is if I'm Minnesota, am I doing that deal coming off a of surgery like that? You know? Yeah. We just don't yeah. know. I, I, I think and correct me if I'm wrong, all the reports seem to be that he'll be ready for training camp or around training camp, yeah. right? October. Hopefully. Or so. Hopefully. Yeah. And I saw I saw him and Mello going at it. Um I think it was at Brickley's gym. So I I I think he's okay, but yeah. I don't know. Yeah. There's something I don't know. To see to me, like to me, to me, I've never, I've never been a Towns guy because I think he's soft. I don't think yeah. mentally he'll handle it here. I mean, he it completely imploded against the Mavs. You know, he yeah. had one game where he had to be picked up five fouls in the third quarter. Like, we don't need, we don't need what is that. that. No, what is that, man? We don't need that. But fit wise, offensively, he he does fit. Which no, hundred percent. I, that's all I'm saying. I'm, what I'm saying is we, we have to monitor this Julius extension carefully here because if he goes into the end of next season without a deal and the Knicks risk losing him for nothing, that wouldn't be good either because he's got a player right option. He has a player option. Right. Who's your starting five as of right now? Brunson, Br- Brunson Bridges, OG, Randall Mitch. Okay. Yeah. Brunson Bridges, OG Randall Mitch. You think Dante and Josh are okay coming off the bench? After all I don't, the time they I don't necessarily think Dante would. Right. Because especially the year that he had. He just Right. Hart, I, I because of his, his selflessness and the sacrifices that he makes for his team, I think he understands it. Yeah. But uh I'm not so sure about DiVincenzo. I wonder. And and he certainly has earned the right to start on many teams. Yeah. But that's that's tough after the year he just had, right? Yeah. It's, that, it's, it's tough, man. It's tough. So, yeah, I, I it's interesting. What a great problem to have as a fan, uh, though. Yeah. Yeah. To debate this stuff. It and is. And you got two of the starters from the team that made it to Game 7 of the second round are now going to come off the bench. Yeah. It's good. It's crazy. It's a great problem to have, it's man. Yeah, it, it, it's good depth, and so yeah, we'll we'll see how that impacts. Uh, we'll see how that impacts Divincenzo. Julius has got he, he's got a big year ahead of him, man. He's got to stay healthy. He's got to show that he can fit efficiently with this group, and obviously defensively, he, he's got to be there for him. But yeah, I can tell you, man, 
the town stuff. You know, there's a lot of reports. A lot of the town stuff, a lot of people are making that speculation because of their relationship with CAA and things of that nature. It's on point. CP knows stuff. You got your ear to the street. It's yeah, got my ear to you the street. You don't just throw stuff out there. Never. You throw stuff out there with with some like you know something behind it, some yeah. substance. Yeah. These are educated takes. Yeah. These aren't yeah. just takes. Yeah. yeah. See, that's the difference in you and the gas bags. You know. Yeah. That's it. So, you know, not necessarily advocating for this, but I'm just telling you. This is just what the streets are saying. This is just what the streets are saying. 